We have received a fetal monitor here in the Biomed shop. It's a GE Corometrix 170 series. And what was reported was each time they went to go use the unit, they were having to manually input the date and the time. What it turned out to be was the battery needed replacement within the unit. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I replace that battery and then we're gonna go through the programming of how to get into the, the programming mode, set the date and time, and then we'll go back in and verify that that information was actually saved in the unit. Once you've installed your battery and reassembled the unit, you're going to want to power it up and go into program mode. To do that, you hold the setup button and the power button simultaneously and then release. To go through each code, you'll use the volume up and down arrows and to make any modifications to a code, you'll hit the UA button here, make your changes and then to get back out, you hit the UA button again. To save all of your values, you'll hit the setup button again. To exit, it will power down the unit. Then you're going to want to go back into the programming mode by holding the setup and the power button again simultaneously. Then hit the record button and it will print out all the values that you have for each code. So you can verify that all the information has been saved.